Hey guys, welcome to this week's Hot or Not Thursday. We are talking about some really weird looking lip products. You may have seen these online or in store. A few of you guys are tweeting me about this and I thought they were pretty strange too. So I thought I would sit down and talk about my experience trying out dual toned ombre-ish lipsticks. Oh my gosh, my hair is falling out as we speak. Hold on. That's kind of better. It's not great, but we're gonna continue this anyway. Uh, what we are talking about are two different formulas. One is from Dior, one is from Smashbox. I'm gonna give you a look at the actual bullet so you can see like how crazy looking this is. That looks like it's not cute. I have a lot to say about this. This is the Smashbox Be Legendary Triple Tone Ombre Lipstick. Oh my gosh, I made it through that. That is like quite the sentence for one lipstick right here, which technically you are getting three shades in this. Kind of cool, right? This is $24 and all three of these shades are matte. Something cool on this one is that these colors are hand poured. They actually hand pour each shade. It feels like it takes a lot of effort to make these from what I could research online. These from Dior, you open up. Can you see how the center is light? and the outside is darker. That's the same thing on each one of these. Um, so the Smashbox one is kind of stacked. This is kind of like, um, reminds me like of a chocolate with a cream center. And this right here is more of a dual toned. The center is metallic, the outside is matte, and this from Dior is $34, so a little more up there in price than Smashbox, um, but it is Dior. I wanted to keep one fresh and then this one doesn't shift at all, just so I could show you guys like what they look like brand new. But this is hot or not, this is not a first impressions. I have been playing around with these quite a bit and I have a lot to say. So we're gonna try them on. I'll show you the different shades, show you what works, what doesn't, all of that stuff. It's hot or not. Yay, lipstick. Oh, my hair is so ugly. You would think with all of the beauty stuff that I try out that I would actually own a single clip or a rubber band. I need to get my life together. <laughs> Literally the only clip I have is from a hot roller set. Ignore that. So let's get to trying on these products and talk about the pros and cons. We're gonna start lightest to darkest in each. So with the Smashbox, be legendary triple tone ombre lipstick uh, that is $24. You have four different shades to choose from. The box itself is really pretty. It shows you exactly the kind of color feel and vibe that you are getting. So the outside just tells you what's going on here. So the first one that I'm gonna put on is the shade Nude Ombre. Of course, this is my favorite. This is what I have been wearing the most. And I actually really, really love this one. This is something that will make your mouth look more pouty, defined, and like you put a lot of effort into it with pretty much no effort. So I'm gonna show you how this works. You just kind of go right on your lip, go outward, and you can see how there's that darker bit right here and it ombres in, so you don't have to do any of the work. Now, you can turn this upside down and do the ombre on the bottom. I actually like to kind of turn it on its side and go like this. And then you have a beautiful ombre lip. Now, you can take your ring finger and kind of pull the color down a little bit just to soften that edge. But I do really love this. It's fast, it makes your lips look bigger. If you throw a gloss on top of it, it's even better. I love this. It actually reminds me of my hard candy ombre lipstick that I used over and over and over and over and over. Do I still have that? All right, class, where were we? This is embarrassing. This is freaking destroyed. Um, Oh, it fell apart and I actually put it back together because I loved it that much. Um, so this actually has a very similar vibe. I don't know that they even make this anymore, but I was in love with this product. This is the Hard Candy Ombre Lipstick. This is in the shade Practical, and this is much more shiny and glossy, whereas the Smashbox is matte. But, you know, my point is I've loved this kind of a product for a long time, and it's really cool to see another brand that's a little more high-end a lot more high-end, um, coming out with a really killer formula with the kind of stacked ombre colors. So this is my favorite. Let's take her off. Every time I do a lip video, I use this and taste so bad. When will I learn? 
Okay, so next we're gonna go into the purple one. This is the shade Berry Ombre. That looks really weird, I know, but just take your finger and kind of blend. And if you want to, you can take the darker edge and kind of go along the edge on the bottom. Same thing, kind of fluff it out, smudge it out. Of course, I'm trying on a bunch, so I'm not being like overly perfectionist about it, but I wanna show you that these are incredibly pigmented. They are beautiful. It is cool that you get those stacked colors. <clears throat> Let's try the crazy one. I actually have not tried this one on. I've swatched it. This is the only one that I'm kind of going, about this Let's try it upside down it's kind of hard to do actually yeah that's not my favorite I don't I don't know that this one is for me the formula through and through on these Smashbox products are some of the best the be legendary lipsticks as a whole are like they're so good so the formula is a plus I'm not vibing on this one I kind of had a feeling I wouldn't um, it's just, it's a little too loud for me. This is the wrong video for me to be doing today because I have been testing out so many lip products right now and taking them on and off and on and off has kind of destroyed my lips. They are not normally this chapped, I apologize, but I just, I still wanted to film this. Okay, let's try on the red. This is really pretty. Okay, my lips right now from taking things on and off are like, screw you, Tati. We're done. Again, pull and blend a little bit, which the nice thing with that is these are matte. So if you want to blend the color a little bit, it's not gonna smear everywhere. It's not gonna get patchy. It's still gonna look very velvety and opaque. And I really love this color combo so much. I think this and the nude are my favorites. This is red ombre. So they're kind of like self-explanatory. We have berry ombre, nude ombre, red ombre. And then we have Crazy every color ombre. This is called sunset ombre. Mm. I need some balm so bad, dear Lord. The makeup investigating life is not always uh, glamorous. It's just not. Let's talk about these $35 Dior uh, lipsticks that are, they're not ombre, but they are dual toned and they are dual finished. There are eight shades in this collection. I don't have them all. I have a few to share with you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is not my favorite thing. I wouldn't go out and spend $35 on this. I just don't think it's worth it. It doesn't give you as much of an effect if you are truly looking for ombre as the Smashbox ones do. I will show you just even swatched. You can see, it doesn't really come out like different colors. It almost gives off what looks like patchiness. Whereas with this, you can see there's distinct different colors going on. So I'm going to pop this on and show you what I'm talking about. I feel like the mixed finish being that the inside is metal and the outside is matte just kind of makes it look a little bit messy and patchy like these are just very patchy i just i'm not into it i'll show you one other shade i just they didn't impress me yeah i have three of these i also have this pink one and i'll i'll show you i was gonna use this as my mirror that's not a mirror uh and this one is the same thing i don't think this is worth 35 dollars. i loved your obviously they make a lot of great products but this one did not do it for me uh, the ombre from Smashbox, that's hot. Thumbs up from me, A plus. Uh, and that is where this journey with ombre lipsticks, weird lipsticks comes to an end for this week. Um, but I was excited to play with these. My lips definitely took a beating this week trying you know, this and some other things. Um, but it was fun experimenting with them and there we have it. I hope you enjoyed and this uh, you know, calm down any curiosity you may have had over these new kind of weird products that happen to be high end. I think for me, whenever I see this kind of a thing at the drugstore or online, I'm like, oh, interesting, OMG Tuesday, that's weird. But to see like a luxury brand like Dior come out with something really different like this, I just, I had to put it to the test. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Hot or Not Thursday. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. And I hope you're having a good one. I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.